Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for October 16th to October 22nd. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And if you want to see why I don't do reverse cards, you can scroll back and find uh, find my About Me video. It will also tell you why I shuffle at the beginning. It should, unless I deleted that one. I shuffle because I want everybody to know that I am being completely honest. Not that the rest aren't. I just have an issue with that. It doesn't mean that people aren't being honest. one of my pet peeves. All right, so the basis of your reading is the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I think balance is a big deal this week, keeping balance um, and being honest, all right? Honesty and balance is probably the basis of your week, okay? <sighs> I see that there's probably things are happening pretty fast. Um, you may be seeking guidance regarding something you're stuck in. You might be stuck in a situation and you feel like you can't move forward, but you want to move forward. Maybe you have some fear of moving forward. Maybe you have an interest, a love interest, which would be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You have it here and here. Um, maybe you have a love interest and um, you're kind of worried about it because that. We have this Four of Cups right here, right in between that. If it's not an uh, earth sign, it could be any sign, you know, but the, they're pretty prominent here. Um, I do see that perhaps you're being offered something new with one of these people. Um, and because we have Taurus again right here, too. Anyway, um, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well, and we do have Aries. So anyway, it does look like you are being offered something new, probably with a person. Um, it could be a new partnership, it could be a new relationship, or it could be, you know, a chance to move in with one of these people, okay? Um, because this is, this is something new on a physical level. It could be a gift from one of these people. Um, I do see that things are a little bit disorganized. Maybe a little bit chaotic. Things might be more moving uh, too fast for you. And, or you may be um, not as interested, but you are. So there's a lot, a lot of contradictive thoughts here. Um, where you want to make a move, but you don't. Okay. Um, you want to make a move, but you're comfortable right now. But you don't, you don't want to um, lose grip. Okay. Um, it looks like you really want to be in control of everything. You, you want things to remain structured and um, you want to um, keep balance. You want, um, or you're working on satisfaction. You're working on being financially satisfied. You're re working on being stable and secure. Um, I think you have some high expectations or somebody has some high expectations of you and you may be feeling like you might not be able to meet them. Okay, I think you're trying to meet all different kinds of expectations this week. Um, and things, you're trying to basically focus your energy and give 50-50, you know, 50% here and 50% there on, on two major aspects of your life. You're just trying to really balance things out between two things. Um, and I see you being successful with doing that. So I think this is about really just going with the flow this week and doing whatever you need to do, keeping in control, um, being grounded, being, um, balanced. I think that's what this week is about is remaining balanced, practical, um, prudent, uh, stable, secure, not losing control, um, 
you know, you want to remain in control at all times. But we do have the fool here, which says that you, you're thinking about starting something else. You're thinking about starting something new. But this says you have to take a risk, but you not don't quite dare to. So I think you, you're thinking about taking a risk on something. Could be a person, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But you aren't so sure about it, okay? Because this is, you're thinking about the risk, but you aren't so, you're comfortable where you're at right now. And if you do that, you might lose some control. So here you're like, hmm, you know, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. I'm really not sure. You're thinking about it. It would be a risk. Okay. So you, you know, this card comes out that says that you should take the risk. You should take the risk. Maybe you need to give your heart away. Okay. Maybe you're resisting giving your heart away because you're comfortable right now. Um, so you're just like, you know what, why should I? Why should I give my heart away when everything is good? Why You can't fix something that isn't broken, kind of like that. Why bother trying to fix something that isn't really broken? So I feel like a lot of you are feeling very balanced this week. But you want more. <laughs> you want more. And I think that you're going through an awakening of some sort because you do want more. I think you want something new. Um I do. You do want something new. This is the app that's something new. <laughs> On a physical level, that's something new. Maybe you finally, you know, you want to share something with somebody. Maybe you want to give something to somebody. Um, there's definitely some despair here, okay? There's some sadness. There's losing sleep over a situation. And this is supposed to be a love reading, but you're, you're feeling you know, there's disappointment. There's disappointment and a need to um, retreat. Like, you know, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. So there's a feeling of, yeah, I think you guys are really contemplating on something. Big time. Big time. What should I do next? What's my next move? And it would be risky. I think whether you, do you take a risk or do you not take a risk? I mean, I think that that's what you're thinking about really heavily. Okay, and this card comes out when it is meant you're going to have to jump. You're going to, the un, it's not going to be told to you, okay? The unknown card comes out when it's meant to happen for a reason, at a specific time for a reason, okay? It's meant to be unknown. The impact is going to be big, but it's all up to you. That's when that unknown card comes out. It's the only deck that has this card, Okay, and it means that it's meant to be unknown until it happens because it's going to have a major impact. But it's it's a lesson that you need to learn. So you have to make it. You have to make the choice. All right. So there is a risk being presented to you and you don't. And that this week, I think you are deciding whether you want to take it or not. Okay, there's it's, it's going to be challenging. There's, it's going to take a lot of hard work. Do you really want it? I mean, one part of you says that you do want it. And then there's a part of you that says, oh, but I'm comfortable. Okay. So the thing is, is if you do it, you're going to have to work as a team. Okay. It, it, you're going to have to realize that it won't just be you in control. It takes teamwork. Because this air, this Aries, but this is the Emperor. It's about wanting to be in control and not lose control of the situation and having everything your own way. And you're the boss and blah blah blah. That's that's what that card is. This card right here says that you won't. The risk part of the risk is teamwork, working together, not being the boss, letting go of the need to control everything and sharing. You know, be, you know. So um, so there's challenges and hard work, but you're. I think this week is decision-making time. And at the end of this deck, we have the Ace of Swords again, twice. This is some a wake-up call, some epiphany, some breakthrough. Finally, something is going to come out that is going to probably push you whether you are going to take the risk or not. And I think the risk has to do with your heart. And so this week is a week of contemplating. And comfortableness, being comfortable and taking a risk. And what do you, you know, are you ready to jump into the unknown, not knowing that what's going to happen? And I mean, we have a few aces here now. It's about manifestation. It's about your thoughts become things. 
Okay. Here it is. Centering. Centering. I wasn't going to read them from the deck, but I mean from the book, but that's about centering. I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. When embarking on our journey into awareness, remaining centered and grounded is an essential part of daily practice. Remember I said grounded? The centering card invites you to align with the with your core essence and go forward in life from a strong position of unification. The, tem the temptation to, divine, to define our reality through family, job, or achievements can distract from our spiritual essence and clip the wings to our freedom. That's, this is what it's about too. Life is constantly changing and calls us to be flexible and centered to survive. By focusing attention inward, you gain strength to act. That's why you're going within and there's like a retreat. By focusing attention inward, you, you gain strength to act as opposed to react to external influence. Prioritizing core values and beliefs provides a strong foundation to realign your energies, creating a boundary between where you end and the outside world begins. In the presence of tension or anxiety, sometimes we need to simply breathe to regain perspective. As part of a daily practice, breathing techniques help anchor thoughts into the present moment and quiet the relentless dialogue of the mind. <laughs> so Pisces, that's what I have for you for this week. I think that you are about to have a breakthrough of some sort, big time, in which you may um, take a risk, all right, after being comfortable in a situation, or you may not, you may not, it's completely up to you, that's why this unknown card is here, the outcome depends on your actions, so this week is about going within, it's about centering, it's about deciding what are you going to do? Because you have the need. I mean, you can't ignore it forever. I mean, you can. It's up to you. Talk to you later.